Hey everybody, it's the W. Fashion stylist and blogger Todd Hallman, and thanks for checking out my video web series, Five Minutes With. And today I'm hanging with creative director and co founder Mark Weistrek of the People's Movement. They're doing some really cool things with sustainability and reclaiming and repurposing plastic. But, Mark, first before we talk about the brand, you and I were recently at an event together. It was a cool event, it was crowded, but I happened to look down. I saw your shoes and I was like, dude, where did you get those shoes? Because everyone that knows me knows that I'm obsessed with footwear. And your response was, well, they're mine. So we started to talk about the brand and I immediately was like, this is a great blog. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, it's even a better video blog because I think what you're doing is so important. So thank you for taking the time to chat. With you thank today. you for having us. Um, so what is the people's movement? People's Movement is eco-hip footwear that fights against plastic pollution. So we use eco-conscious, uh, sustainable materials with possible organic uh, cotton canvas, organic laces, 100% recycled packaging, and then we actually take plastic waste, plastic uh, bags from Bali and Mexico. We upcycle that in the materials that we use for accessories and shoes. So uh, as you can see here, what I'm wearing, that's actually upcycled plastic bags. So each pair of these shoes has about uh, eight of the one trillion single-use plastic bags. So how did you come up with this concept? Essentially, it was my first trip to Bali. I had this perfect picture of Bali. Um, and when I arrived there, it very much was that tropical paradise. But very quickly, I realized that there was a major underlying problem. The island was incredibly polluted. I went to surf Padang Padang very famous surf spot and it just rained the evening before. When I came down there, there was a group of Balinese lifeguards digging ditches and attempting to hide the incredible mass of garbage that had washed on the beach. Um, and at the time, I wasn't really cognizant of what a single-use plastic is, but I did notice that everything was plastic. Uh, I think that kind of seeped in, uh, uh, in the back of my mind. and. When I left it, it, uh, it affected me, and I, I was blown away by this unnecessary waste that I saw everywhere. I would see Coke bottle tops, I would see plastic straws, I would see big plastic pens, all these sorts of things, and it, it just stuck with me. Single use plastics, believe it or not, the 600 trillion, that's a trillion with a T, the 600 trillion pounds of single use plastics that are being consumed globally every 365 days. That's the largest problem facing the environment today. So, your brand, uh, currently you're doing footwear. Yes. Uh, and accessories. And we accessories. have big wallets like this. This wallet is made of 10 great. of the 1 trillion plastic bags that we consumed last year. So, that's handmade by a village of women in Bali. Um, we're literally taking plastic bags, we wash them, dry them in the sun, and then add a little bit of heat and make this thing we call EPX. Dude, you've been at this for two years. Um, Three and a half since conception. Okay. Two years since we launched. I think you're doing pretty well. I mean, I gotta say, congratulations. It's it's a um, it's, everybody's like, wow, you got to blown up. But it is it is not easy work, and it's it's not easy to to be green and to make an effort. I gotta tell you, like I said, I was moved when you first spoke. Yeah, and I like how you just used moved. Right? Yes, yes, moved. Yes, yes, move. Yes, yes, move. Yes, we're on these buzzwords. Yes, oh, hashtag God. move. And <laughs> You know, I wanted to take the shoes off your feet. I think I asked you, I was like, what size are you? Because you actually did. I wanted to take the shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's why I liked you, because that's a move. I'm not afraid to ask people to put their shoes off their, or their shirts off their back. I would love my shoe, and it is so incredibly comfortable. That's yeah. a big part of it. So we always like to say, look good, do good, feel good. So the shoe has to look cool for us, right? doesn't matter how great your story is. If the shoe doesn't look good, people aren't going to pick it up on a shelf. Um, and if the shoe doesn't uh, doesn't feel good, then you know, if it's uncomfortable, then yeah, maybe somebody will buy it once, but they won't become a fan. So this shoe is made with cotton canvas. Um, this is made with a TR outsole that's actually 100% recyclable. And then the packaging um, is 100% recyclable. So are there any plans to move into clothing? Yeah, we make t-shirts with uh, and very small runs. We've made t-shirts that, uh, are featuring artwork 
uh, made out of the upcycled plastic waste as well that have been cleaned from the harbors of San Diego. Are you in any retail locations now, or are you online based? Yeah, uh, so we're, we're in a great store in Venice for all you LA guys called Fries in Venice, um, Sporty LA. Um, we have the uh, great privilege of working with some of the major retailers like Free People Online, um, Urban Outfitters Online, and the Urban Outfitters Doors Without Walls. Um, on Nordstrom's Online, we're launching uh, Doors for Nordstrom's this summer. Uh, we're on PacSun. Online. Hey, Mark, thank you. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. a pleasure. It. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Todd, T O D H, Fash, F A S H, Stylus. And on Instagram, it's Todd H, Fash, Stylus, Official. And your website is www.movmt.com, uh, movement.com. I mean, this is great, guys. Check out these shoes. I'm telling you, you are going to love them. Thank you so much.